goes back to the beginning. All right, so this is what looks like out the back door. Over here is the shed. We're waiting to get uh, the roof replaced. Already got a contractor set up. It's just a matter of waiting for him to get the crew over here. I tried to put a new roof on it, but it didn't seem to work out so good. So now I'm paying for someone to come over and make it happen. Of course, that holds our laundry room on one side and then tools and supplies on the other side. And then the backyard. And the back side of the house. And just walking up through the patio. Of course there's the boat. And of course the boat is all another whole project and here's another project sitting here Mr. Goldwing on the list had to put another tarp on it this time we just use jugs filled with water to hold the tarp in place and then the small little dinghy here had some water intrusion so I opened up the whole uh, let it dry out a bit and the Explorer seems to be running so far so good you got to do a few things to it but nothing major and we got the RAV sitting over here just recently put the new struts on it they came out quite well definitely an improvement in the way it drives it's getting a little bit uh, weather beaten we'll be putting probably a new coat of paint on it and I don't know maybe this year all depends and over here is the 550 there so I'm had to go into the shade so I can see the display it's recording I guess the display blanks out after a period of time so now I can see I'm actually on my neighbor's yard this is their house they're Canadians and they let us basically use any of their area as we need it and like I said on the phone I just mow the yard take care of the yard for them as they're when they're not here so inside here we got the lawnmower, currently just fixed the uh, grass chute on it and I got to pull the deck off and sharpen up the blades again. And the F-350 waiting to have the tank dropped on it. And here's the, uh, the sides I took off, pressure washed them and used some waterproofing uh, Olympic water guard treatment on them keep them somewhat uh, usable for a while longer and then walking out of here still got the 350 here this is the next door neighbor they have not really ever been here they live in the Everglades Everglades City I don't know what's going to happen here the house is kind of going downhill no one's here to maintain it as I was saying earlier across the way here we've got the F550 parked then next to that we have our little trailer that we use to haul the lawnmower back and forth and pick items up from Home Depot etc and this is of course another neighbor's property and he lets us park our vehicles here and as I said before and we do our best to help him out by mowing his yard and keeping the place somewhat clean 
you know, pick up branches from storms and things like that. He comes out here about every other weekend. And here is Lake June Boulevard. And across the way you can see Lake June peeking through the trees over there. It's a decent lake. If I had a decent outboard, I'd be able to put it on the dinghy and go tooling around. But the outboard I've got, once again, like everything else, needs repair. I'd probably have to put a uh, another carburetor on it. Maybe some other things. That's project number 2309. And looking down Lake June here. Back at our neighbor's house. His second house, our Canadian neighbor's house, and then the people that live in the Everglades City's house, and then our two vehicles here. And that's it for the moment.